Hey everyone, Justin here, and today I'm going to show you how to pin folders to your Windows 7 Superbar. Now, I made a previous video about this, but I didn't have a microphone at the time, so it was just annotations, and a lot of you said that it was helpful, but you would like an audio uh, accompaniment. So, today I'm going to provide that. <laughs> so, uh, first what you want to do is right-click on your desktop, and go to New, and Shortcut. Pretty much what you're doing is you're creating a shortcut um, to put on your superbar instead of a folder. Uh, for some reason, Windows doesn't like for you to have folders on your superbar, and it, whenever you try to, it just pins it um, up here in the pin section of your jump list. So um, what you want to do instead is make a shortcut. So for location of the item, you want to type in uh, C, or whatever the, um, the drive letter of your local disk is. It's usually C, um, colon, backslash. Uh, Windows with a capital W. Again, I'll post all this stuff in the description down below. But uh, backslash and then explorer.exe. Now, what this will do is it'll tell Windows to open Explorer whenever you click on this icon, and then you want to put in quotations um, the 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 path, the uh, the location of the folder that you want to pin. So right here, I'm going to do my downloads folder and uh, we'll copy that and paste it right in the quotes here. So what this uh, this whole string says is open explore and then well, once you've done that open this. So you want to click next and then type a name. So this is my downloads folder so I'm going to type in downloads and hit finish. And now you have this, uh, this shortcut here on your desktop and that's just great. So now you can pin it down into the super bar and it goes down there and you can open it and it's everything is all well and good but the problem is it has uh, the same icon as Explorer does which is kind of confusing whenever you see both of them down there so what you want to do is change that now you can't do that from the super bar you can only do that from the program itself so we'll right click and properties and in here in the shortcut tab there is an option for change icon so you want to click on that and uh, it gives you like what 20 different uh, icons you could pick that look like they're all from Windows 95. So uh, you want to tap into the actual exp uh, icon archive. So, um, one second. So you want to type in this address here, uh, C colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash image res dot dll. Uh, click enter and now you'll see there's a huge amount of icons here. You could pick from almost anything. Um, so I'm going to look for the downloads icon, and that's right here, okay, okay, and as you can see it was changed to that, and I can just drag it down in my super bar, and I'm all set to go. Now it opens up, and it's exactly like I pinned a folder to the Windows 7 super bar. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, or by rate I mean thumbs up, <laughs> comment, and subscribe, and uh, have a good day.